After learning how to identify the restricted value or values of any given rational expressions, you are now ready to simplify rational expressions. This is actually just the same with how you simplify fractions, wherein you're going to be needing to apply factoring and canceling common factors. Let's say, for example, if we have the given 4 over 8, factor this out into 4 becomes 1 times 4 and 8 becomes 2 times 4, wherein their common factor is 4, so cancel that out and the simplest form would be 1 half. Another example is 33 over 55, wherein this can be factored out into 33 becomes 3 times 11, 55 becomes 5 times 11, and 11 is their common factor, so cancel that out, and you now have 3 over 5, which is the simplest form. So in simplifying rational expressions, it works the same, but of course, it would just be a bit advanced because there would be expressions involved already. These are the steps on how to simplify rational expressions. So let us try to apply this in this example. We have 8a squared b cubed over 10ab squared. So first step is to factor the numerator and the denominator. So from this expression, it would now become 2 times 4 times a times a times b times b times b in the numerator and 2 times 5 times a times b times b in the denominator. Second step is to identify the restricted values. So when you look at the denominator, the only operation involved is multiplication and the letters are a and b. So the only restriction would be to make sure that a and b will not be equal to 0. So third step is after identifying the restricted value or values, you are now going to cancel or divide any common factors. And with that, the numbers or the factors that will be cancelled out here are 2, A, B, and then the other B. So multiply all the factors left, and we have in the numerator 4 times A times B, and in the denominator we have 5. So the simplest form of that would be 4AB over 5. Now, open your Schoology and try to simplify the following rational expressions.